keeps coming back by over and over again, shoot. up YouTube Woo! I am back out again tonight on another mission this is my first video back from the two overnights that I did with Kevin from small plots if you haven't seen those please go check them out for today's video I'm out doing something I have wanted to do for a long time solo overnight stealth camp in a cemetery Woo! very excited about this this is not just a cemetery it's also a historic cemetery if you're from around where i'm from and you recognize where we're at that's up to you i'm not going to say exactly where i am this isn't just a historic cemetery this is also kind of a public park people come through here just to do you know sort of scenic drives people ride their bicycles through here people come here to walk the dogs I saw somebody on uh, one of those mini bikes earlier so all that stuff is allowed it's not allowed to camp here overnight so that is one that we're breaking the rules on a little bit but it's something I've always wanted to do I did another cemetery camp a bit earlier when I first started YouTube and that was a ton of fun that was just, you know, seven, eight graves way out in the middle of a hunting preserve. This is an actual like big cemetery. So first things first, I wanna find my spot where I'm gonna set up. There are tons of little patches of woods around, but I have a little bit of daylight left. So I'm probably gonna cruise around and um, take a little bit of a tour as well. But before I... But before we do any of that, we gotta take a little nip off of the old banana flask. <laughs> Trying out some Crown Royal this time. Just a little nip because we do not want to buzz while we're riding this thing around. So, let's get into it. Woo!
just took a nasty spill. I just ran into some mud. I didn't see it there. More shaken up than anything. I had the helmet on. I wasn't going that fast. But I got a pack on and everything. It's not the skateboard's not really designed for all of that. So, but I'm uh, doing okay. Ooh, I just need to recoup myself for a minute. Definitely hurt my shoulder a little bit. pants here so I guess this is a good time as any thanks to outdoor master for um, sending me this uh, e-skateboard I used to skate a lot when I was a kid 15 to 21 I was a pretty avid skateboarder so I know how to ride a skateboard I can't do that many tricks and stuff like I used to be able to but uh, for the most part I can still stay up on it so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do um, there's a spot right here that probably would work. I'm going to recoup for a second and uh, see how I feel. I'll check back with you in just a sec. Mm. Whew. I feel better. I had to walk that off a little bit. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pick this spot. Um, it's just as good a spot as any. And while I still have some daylight left, I might as well get into it. I don't want to use the flash if I can avoid it. So... Let's get into these bushes and uh, get the camp set up. The uh, show must go on, right? All right, so there's the uh, edge of the cemetery over there. We're going to leave the stuff on this bench here. It's a paved path that comes this way, and then that leads over to the rest of the cemetery. I'm kind of on the edge here. So right back in that little spot there is where I'm planning on going. Stepping across this little area here. And then this is gonna be it. It's gonna be our little spot. Looks like it might be a game trail. Oh, and this should work out fine, but I gotta clear the ground sticks and stuff. Got the back staked out here. Underneath there. Got a little bit of mesh for some ventilation. You can kind of see like the profile here. It's basically just a bivy. And here we've got the front. And here's the other side as best I can film it. Got the backpack hanging up from this little 
nub here for now. Got the beers. right here and in the event that it starts raining I'll pull it in the tent and tough it out zero chance of rain in the forecast but you know you can never trust the weather no. gotta hydrate a little bit Before we crack into the beers. Oh, I'm not sure how to say this. Sona from Heart State. American wheat. Crisp, bright, citrus, inviting. And it is all of the above. Oh, that's a good beer. So from the outside here, you can see here's the trail and in there is the tent and stuff. That certainly makes me nervous because that car was sitting there when I came out of the woods. Immediately, or not immediately, but within a couple seconds, that car put it in the gear and drove away. Uh, that's why you're supposed to look before you come out of the self-camping area anyway. Whoa. So other than that car seeing me, geez oh Pete. Let's check out, I mean, hopefully I'm not completely busted. I mean, I'm not ultra worried about it. I'll just get told to leave. Maybe I'll get a ticket. You know, that's what I'm, you know. So, you know, it's all for you guys. Here is kind of like the walking path. That's a walking path. That's like a driving path over there. It comes from this way and there's this big dealy here. <sighs> so here's kind of from this front and this angle. There's no reason anybody would go back in over here. People are gonna be walking on this thing. But just to get close, why not? It's back in somewhere in here. I mean, you, there's no way you're seeing that thing. I could have a fluorescent orange tent. You're not seeing it. So here's from that side. Here's just a quick walk around, why not? What else am I gonna do? So as I keep trying to show off the spot, more and more people keep showing up. I had a car, there was just that couple that walked by walking a dog. I need to quit messing around, I need to get back in the woods, so let's go.
this is no joke. Security keeps coming back by over and over again. Shoot. I haven't seen anybody come by, so I'm just gonna chill out, finish a beer, maybe have one more, I don't know. I'm gonna get in the tent to the next couple minutes here for sure. Okay, got my backpacking stove all packed up. I can go back in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my trash back there completely as far away from the path as out of sight as possible. This is definitely a real one. I don't know how much I can lift my I don't know how much I can raise my voice for crying out loud uh, security kept coming by I keep trying to get the shot but I keep thinking I'm seeing him or hearing him a security vehicle came by I don't know at least three times I wasn't I don't know how much of that footage I was able to quite get for you guys but oof nerves this is a real risky one my shoulder is definitely in some pain I think it'll be fine but I fell right on my shoulder on top of it I think it, I picked a pretty bad spot because there's a walking path right there and it comes from outside of the cemetery. I thought I'd be okay because I thought I'd be kind of more on. I thought I'd be like further away, you know, right at the edge of the cemetery, but in hindsight, this was not a good spot, not a great spot to pick. So, whew. I'm gonna finish up this beer and I think I'm going to get in the tent. I'll check back with you guys in a minute. Officially in the tent here. I'm rolling in for the night. Anything crazy happens, I will get back and let you guys know for sure. But uh, otherwise, I think we've had enough excitement for one night. Catch you in a bit. We got the um, bivy just uh, just rolled up and strapped to the back there. I didn't feel like messing with it this morning. I just want to get out of here. Okay, got my garbage. It's time to hit the road.
one. We are making our way out of here. I want to do a big shout out to Handsome Devil and Michael Freeman uh, for joining the Patreon along with the, the entire rest of the Patreon crew. It definitely means a ton to me. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are uh, helping me get to where I need to be um, to become a full-time YouTuber. Everybody who watched the video, everybody who commented, everybody who liked the video, really, really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Whew. Hope this one was enjoyable for everybody. Either way, that's another one in the books. And we're gonna catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.